Hi, third graders. Today we are going to be talking about theme of a story. Our story this week is tops and bottoms. Um, so hopefully you have listened to your teacher read that story or you have read it by watching a video. Um, and today we're going to be working on theme. <clears throat> now you might be wondering what theme of a story is. And if you're not sure, then you could read this with me. So it says, what is the theme? The theme of a story is the underlying message in the story. Many times people confuse the main idea or the summary of a story with the theme of a story or a passage. The main idea is a short summary of the events, while the theme is an inference that relates to the underlying message or lesson in a story. The theme is not directly stated, but it is implied, which means that the author does not directly tell us what the theme is. We just kind of have to um, guess what the theme is based on the story and based on the story clues. The reader must think about the character's experiences and choose to infer the theme of the story. When a reader is attempting to infer the theme, it is helpful to ask, what is the big idea in the story? What larger message is the author trying to convey or tell? And three, what did the author want the reader to understand? So when you're thinking about the theme of a story, we're basically thinking about, well, what does the author want to teach me in this story? Okay. So what we're going to do together is read a little passage and it is called Max and Kai play ball. Okay, it's a little bit of a longer one, but it's just one page and I'm going to read it to you. And then together we are going to decide what the theme of the story is. Okay, so let's go ahead and read this story. Max and Kai play ball. Max and Kai were the best of friends. They spent many hours together after school and on the weekends. One of their favorite activities was to play basketball together. Kai had a perfect hoop outside his house on the driveway, so they spent much of their time shooting hoops at Kai's house. Where is that basketball? Max asked one day when he was over at Kai's house. There are two basketballs in the garage. Let's go, replied Kai. The boys organized a competition. Whoever could make the most baskets out of 10 shots won a round. They used paper to keep track of who won each round and decided that the ultimate loser would have to write a love note to Claire, the cutest girl in fifth grade, which we would never do that, right? You guys would never do that in third grade. After they played six rounds and were tired and were tied in the competition, Kai's mom called them in for dinner. Frustrated that they couldn't continue playing, Kai hurled the ball down the street, which means he threw it down the street. It traveled in the gutter over a block away down his steep hill. I'll get it later, shouted Kai as he threw his arms up in the air. After dinner, they grabbed the other ball from the garage and continued their competition. They played a few more rounds, knowing that the winner would be determined at the end of their playtime. When Max's mom arrived to pick him up, they were still tied and agreed they would finish later. They waved goodbye and left the ball on the front yard. Giggled as they gazed at Claire the next day. At the next day in class, Max and Kai agreed they would continue their competition to determine a winner. I can't wait to see what your love letter says, Kai taunted Max. <coughs> She's going to fall in love with you after she reads your letter, Max laughed. When they got to Kai's house and started looking for a ball, they couldn't find one. What happened to the balls? Max inquired. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. We left one on the front lawn, but I don't see it now, replied Kai. They took a walk down the street to find the ball that had rolled down the street. There was no ball in sight. How did we lose two balls? Kai said, shaking his head. The boy went inside, the boys went inside to ask Kai's mom if she could go and buy a new ball for them to use. What happened to the ones in the garage? She asked. Well, I think they got lost or stolen or something, Kai mumbled. 
if you had any money, you could buy another basketball, his mom replied, but I won't be buying a basketball for you. How can we make some money? They asked. Max and Kai spent the next two hours raking the lawn and pulling weeds. When it was time for Max to leave, they had only earned $8 of the $24 they needed to buy a new basketball. Instead of playing ball for the next week, they worked in the yard and did chores around the house until they earned enough money to purchase a new ball. All right, so we are going to determine what the theme of this passage is, and then you are going to use your journeys book to find the theme of tops and bottoms, okay? So remember, the theme is like the main thing that the author is trying to teach you in this story. Like, what is the lesson that the author is trying to say? And most of the time, we have to look at the character's actions and what they do in the story, and we learn from their mistakes, or we learn from their actions that they're doing, the things that they're saying, and their um, their things that they're doing. So um, before we do that, I would like for you to please go ahead and pause the video in just a moment, and you're going to get up, and you are going to find um, a stuffed animal in your house, and you are going to bring it back to your working space that you're in right now, and you're going to complete the rest of this activity with your stuffed animal. Now, if you're not at home and you can't have a stuffed animal, then I want you to get up and do 50 jumping jacks, okay? So go ahead and pause the video. When you're ready to keep going, you can resume. All right, hopefully you have your stuffed animal, or if you're not at home, hopefully you did your, um, your jumping jacks for a little brain break there. All right, so we're going to find the theme of this passage. So I am going to show you, oh my goodness, well there's me twice. That's pretty silly, isn't it? Let me see if I can get my, um, my camera to work on my laptop and I might not be able to, oh, there we go, perfect. All right, let me turn the light on. All right, great. So when we're doing a theme, we want to pick out three details in the story and then we come up with a underlying message or lesson that the author is trying to teach us. So in this story, Kai, um, Max and Kai play basketball. Um, we have to come up with a some story details that will help us determine what the theme of the story is. So. However, we want to try to think of the lesson first that we are learning. So what do you think the lesson that you can learn is in this story in Max and Kai play ball? What do you think the lesson is? Hmm. Well, as I was reading that story, I really noticed how careless the boys seemed to be with their two basketballs. And they seemed like they loved basketball. So to be so careless and not really... Um, care about where you're throwing your basketball and you're not you're not taking care of it um, to be so careless like that makes me think that the author is trying to tell us to take care of things that are important to us so I'm going to think that's the theme in this story and I hope you agree with me um, so I'm going to write down um, the theme is take care of the things that are special to you. I think that's what the author is trying to tell us. All right, so story detail that helps me think that, well, if I go back in the story, which is what great readers do. We go back in the story and we look to see what we might have missed the first time. Um, it says, let's see, where is it? So it said that when their mom, or when um, Kai's mom called them in for dinner, uh, Kai got so upset that he couldn't finish the competition. And so he hurled the ball down the street, which means he threw it down the street and it traveled over a block away, steep down his hill. So I found that right here. Okay, now that is a sign that he doesn't really care about his basketball. If he's going to throw it down the street and not even go get it, 
then that makes me think he doesn't really care about his basketball at all. And I think that's what the author is trying to tell us not to do with the things that are special to us. So um, a story detail I'm going to write down is that Kai hurled the ball down the street and didn't get it, right? That's important that he didn't go get it. If he got it, that would be okay. But he didn't really care. He just said, oh, I'm so annoyed that I can't finish my competition. I'm just gonna throw the ball. And then his friend said, um, or he just, and then he just said, oh, I'll get it later, right? Which he didn't actually do until he realized he lost the other one. So that brings us to our second story detail. What do you think a second um, detail is that makes us think that the theme is to take care of things that are special to us? What do you think? Just giving you some time to think. Hopefully you're reading the words on the screen. Well, I see that when Max's mom arrived to pick him up, they were still they were still tied and agreed they would finish later. They waved goodbye and left the ball in the front yard. So he didn't seem to care, right, the boy, Kai, that um, he already threw the other ball down the street. He didn't have it. And then he left his other ball in the front yard. Well, what if somebody came and stole it overnight? Somebody could have definitely stolen it. It could have been blown away with the wind, right? Um, it could have got ruined if there was a lot of a bad thunderstorm. So the fact that he left the ball in his front yard makes me think that he didn't really care about it that much. Um, he wasn't taking really good care of his basketball. So um, now I'm going to write Kai left the ball or left the other ball in his front yard. So that shows me, oops, I'm sorry that you couldn't see that. There we go. That shows me that um, he didn't really care about his basketball, his other basketball, right? Because he only had two. All right. And the third thing that makes me think that the author just wants us to take care of those things that are special to us is that, well, when Kai says, Mom, I lost my basketballs. Um, could I please have a new one? And then his mom said, no, you can't have a new one, right? You um, you didn't care about your other ones. You didn't keep good track of them. So, no, you have to work for money to get a new one. So they had to work and do chores, right? They had to do uh, raking and pulling weeds to earn enough money, which would, been, which would have been $24 they needed to buy a new basketball. And they couldn't even do that in two hours. So it's going to take them a long time. So let's see. I think the third story detail would be that um, they had to work for money or they had, they had to work to earn money. to buy a new basketball, right? If, if they just would have been more careful with the other ones, they wouldn't have had to do any chores because they would have already have their basketballs. So if he didn't hurl it down the street or leave it in his front yard overnight, then they wouldn't have gotten lost. So all of these three details lead us to the conclusion that the theme of the story, the thing that the author wants us to learn is to take care of things that are special to you. So in your life, that could be taking care of your video game collection. It could be taking care of your Beyblades. It could be taking care of your books if you love reading. It could be taking care of your pets even, okay? Sometimes your mom might ask you to feed your dog or to give your dog some water or take your dog outside to go to the bathroom and they're relying on you to take care of your animal because you're old enough now. So it's really important to take care of things that are special to us. Something that's really special to me is my wedding ring. 
And if I just left my wedding ring on the counter at home, I might lose it because it might fall to the floor. It might fall down a drain. Um, I, I might brush it off the countertop and into like one of the cracks on the counter and then I would lose it. So it's really important to take care of things that are special to you. So what you're going to do now is go to Seesaw and you are going to do the theme activity with tops and bottoms and the directions will be for you or they will be in there for you um, to read and to listen to, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I hope you enjoyed spending the rest of the time with your stuffed animal if you were able to do that. And I will see you next time. Bye.